Alright folks, welcome back to Panzer General, you can be mysterious JG. We are fighting against the Norwegian, so you know, we got like uh, Kimi Raikkonen up here. He's Finnish. Uh, so never mind. I don't know anyone from Norway. Because <laughs> I personally know Kimi Raikkonen, that's why I was going to make jokes about him. Anyway, um... Yeah, it's uh, Operation Weserubung, it's the invasion of Norway. We've landed troops here, we're getting ready to take this airfield. Landed guys here and here, we've landed here. All the troops are landed. Now we're trying to get the Kriegsmarine up here in time to stop the Royal Navy from shelling any Germans who get within spitting distance of Trondheim. Uh, and, of course, Namzos. You're pretty much not going to be able to win this mission without heavy, heavy losses. Um, unless you take care of the Royal Navy. And by take care of, I mean kill. Let's let the Allies have their turn. Uh oh. It's Spitfires showing up now. That would, of course, be the Royal Air Force in all its glory. They will be a huge pain in the ass. If, like me, you like to go um, with a lot of Air Force in this game. Oh, wow. Brits are bombing us, too. Well, no matter. I'll take... That might be a good thing, because it means I'll be able to take those guys out. They they came south without any kind of fighter escort, other than the paltry Norwegian uh, force that was there. Oh, but this sucks, though. They're going to bomb my cruisers. We're, we are having hard enough time! Kriegsmarine can't stand up to the Royal Navy. Now it's trying to fight the Royal Navy and the Royal Navy. I mean, the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force. That went better than it should have. I mean, if I can just keep the Royal Navy occupied... Oh, it's raining! Motherfucker! That really sucks for me, folks, because... I need to eliminate these RAF jerks. I should have enough fuel to get back to that airfield in one piece. You're the Grand Line. Do these guys have uh, air attack ability? No. They can fight back if they're attacked, but they can't attack. So let's let our uh, Air Force bombers just kind of. I'll, what we're doing right now, because I can't bomb on this turn. I am going... Ooh, there's anti-air guns there. Shit. I'm just going to... trap them so they can't escape. And hope that it's not raining on the next turn. This is another thing that I can use. Uh, I can cheat a bit with uh, saving and loading game and stuff. Uh, if the weather doesn't go my way... I can just load the game and end the turn and wait until the weather goes the way I want it to. Because um, it makes kind of a big difference whether it's raining or not. It makes a difference in... Uh, what am I trying to say? Well, your Air Force can't operate in the rain. This is... Oh, that's crap. This is a, this is a unit that already has one star's experience, and it's German infantry, and they can't freaking uh, get the drop on the Norwegians here. Yeah, this is this is already taking longer than it should. I am just going to complain bitterly about this for the entire campaign, folks. Oh, well, you couldn't even finish them off? What the hell's wrong with you? But anyway, we captured that thing, which means we got a prestige boost that will allow me to buy this fighter pilot that I've had my eye on. And I can't deploy it here either because I just took that on this turn or there might be some other reason but either way let's deploy it down here I don't have enough to do any other, more Air Force yet if the weather stays bad then heavily investing in the Air Force like this might be a mistake but oh looks like this won't be too bad One suppressed, and they can't move, which means if you can suppress them all, they do surrender. So that's good. Now, how much entrenchment have you guys got? Seven. Oh, shit.
This is going to be a rugged defense. Oh, it's not. I got lucky. Okay, that went better than I really could have expected it to. Now, you guys cross the river and attack them on the next turn. You guys take this city, and you will probably also cross the river on the next turn. And the next turn, these guys are going to attack here, then back off, let somebody else come over the bridge and finish it. Uh, meanwhile, the paratroopers. Oh, hopefully this will go well. Oh, man, how did they get off the first attack? Oh, well, it's not going to save them. But these guys might be in over their heads. They're sort of... I mean, they're paratroopers. It's their job. But they are definitely behind enemy lines right now. So let's get some guys up here to help them as fast as is uh, practical. You can be pretty sure there's no Norwegian troops hanging around here. This is all mountains and forests, and it's just uh, not easily traversable territory at all. Now, you guys could have could have stayed around down there another turn and helped to soften things up, but I would just prefer that they keep moving north to try to do whatever good they can in the fight against the Royal Navy. That's going to be ugly. Now, the last video had a little bit of sound sync problems by the end. I really... There's not a whole lot I can seem to do about that. Recording this game in chunks shorter than a half an hour would be kind of ridiculous. Because this is a really a marathon session kind of game. But, um... It is what it is, folks. Peter I've got is not quite up to par. That's something that um, might get rectified sometime... I'm definitely going to make enough money while I'm, uh, you know, doing this tour in Afghanistan to um, to upgrade my computer. It's just a matter of when is that going to be a practical thing to do. Ah, fuck! There was nobody in there last turn, but they had de they built a unit in there between turns. Oh, that hurts. They are going to get finished off in the next turn unless I do something. That's a disaster. That is really a disaster. I've got to hope that I can get them to retreat and then finish them off with this other tank. Then I can get some elite replacements here and save save myself from that. But that was oof, that was really ugly mistake. And it ate up the entire turn of four different units. Well, three different units to correct it. Yeah, that... I do not want to lose a, a, a tank that already had a full star. These guys have two stars, of course. So... You guys really got nothing you can do right now. Let's check what's the range on these guys. Two. So I can't really let them get any closer in than that. I mean, I guess they could start scouting around. Although, that's kind of stupid. I shouldn't have flown them off like that, because they're going to get... They could get shot down. What am I thinking? Not by any air, but there might be more uh, British fighters up here. Oh, that was stupid. I don't know what I was thinking about there. I've already kind of shown you that I'm not necessarily thinking at all times while playing this game. This is definitely a game where uh, you want to be able to save periodically. And I've already kind of decided that I'm... Shall I finish you guys off? No, I'm actually better off getting them on their way up here where they can be more useful. Because this will... I'm going to win down here. It's just a matter of time. So why get that victory a little bit sooner, but slow down other forces. Those guys need to get a move on. They got places to be. 
Now I can start making a difference with my torpedo or my U-boats, uh, Unterwasser vessels. There we go. That's how we do. Kriegsmarine has one unit that's worth a damn. And it is the submarine. Oh, boo. I thought you were going to finish them off. Now, there is no replacing any of my Navy units, folks. So, uh... I have to be kind of careful with them. The cruisers will get off the first shot. Most they can do is sink one. They didn't do that. So I should be able to finish them here. Don't be fooled for a second, folks. The vast bulk of the British Navy hasn't even moved yet. AI kind of makes them sort of sit there until they're kind of aggroed. I want to at least force these guys to move before they can bomb me again. They have to commit to spending the entire turn hanging around here. Oh, cool. That went better than I thought it would, so that's cool. All right. Let's end the turn. Yeah, that's right. We got the first attack, motherfuckers. Deutschland über alles, especially you. Boom. And it's still raining. Shit. That sucked. I was really hoping it would stop raining. It didn't. Oh well. Yeah, the rain is really going to fuck us up because uh, rain does slow down your troops' movements. Because if they start moving over like regular ground, it becomes muddy ground. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a major victory here, folks. I'm already feeling like that might not be possible. It's uh, a little, little early to be giving up on that. And I definitely should not be probing ahead using submarines. They should be hanging back waiting to strike, but... I am not going to be able to play games with uh, taking over all these little minor coastal cities like I was able to do when I was off cameraing it. I'm just not going to be able to commit forces to taking care of these. Which is a problem because it means that theoretically uh, once you've got troops committed like all the way out here, they can start trying to sneak back and take over these objectives. I'll probably just buy uh, auxiliary units to sit and, and hold them. Um, again, that's not how I'd normally do it, but, I mean, I already know I've got an off-screen loads for the low countries where things went the way I wanted them to, and, yeah, it's a bit cheap. The other thing I can do is just park somebody in there. That will prevent them from building new units there, but, uh, it'll slow that destroyer from getting up north and helping out. Whatever little bit of help it could provide will be delayed. Oh, this would be very silly if I make them retreat into that airfield. But I didn't, so it's okay. This may be a surrender situation. They got the first attack. That annoys me, but that doesn't really hurt anything. No, because I couldn't suppress that one, so they're just going to sit there, two guys, a girl, and the port of Stavanger. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Oh, well. Yeah, by all means, let me know when I'm mispronouncing the names, but, uh, you know, don't expect... Like, you might be able to provide me with some kind of long-term educational benefit. Don't expect me to correct during the LP, and I really should have... No, I'm going to save the ammo. Why did I do that? Why didn't I kill them? Oh, well. And they should have come here and uh, softened them up before the turn started. But these guys, all they can do is reinforce, and they'll end up with, like, a strength of four. These guys, I don't know what the hell they're going to do. Either way, I'm pissed. 
about the fact that I, uh... Oh, I can't cross the river. Oh, this sucks. This could go ugly, but I need to take that airfield. Shit. Remember what I said about how things get like a lot harder here than they were in the... Poland, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, I was gonna try and play fair, but I might have to do a go back, a take back if I can't even like secure some place for my air force to go. <laughs> Nobody can uh, kill these guys. I've got to dislodge them. There we go. This is getting ugly. It's the the rain is messing me up more, worse than I thought it would, because it's slowing down my ground forces. It's not just stopping my air force from doing anything. I'm not 100% on what's going to happen if my air forces just stay put keep those British guys in place and for that reason I'm gonna save because I want to be able to go back if uh, I totally lose my Air Force on this turn without necessarily starting the whole damn thing again but they've only got 17 in fuel we've only got 14 oh shit you've got to get back over here You're definitely going to crash if you don't go over there. You might be able to to last another turn and just try to make it difficult for these guys to escape. Yeah, I might be able to make these guys run out of fuel. That would be a pretty dickish way to defeat them. Those guys have plenty of fuel, so I'm not going to be able to do it to them. But these guys who haven't been here for as long... These guys have plenty of fuel. Didn't I have another suppression bomber? They came all the way up here. Can they get back down? Ah, they can. So let's go refuel all my fighters. And then I'll force the RAF guys to crash and burn. Just call me Dickotron, the uh, leader of the Dickobots. Because <laughs> I'm acting like a total asshole here. You can't reach there. Shit. Maybe I better bring you over here just to be safe. I should have flown you closer in. Damn it. Oh well. Let's end the turn, see what happens. It's still raining? Navies are going to be useless here, but oh well.
finish these guys off. Good stuff. There, like I said, there's no point in uh, bringing more forces here because that was going to go my way. Uh, it's just a matter of getting it all set up. Here, on the other hand, it might be fun to uh, attack some dudes. Maybe I can just uh, shell these guys until I take over. And then leave a destroyer in there so that they can't rebuild. Because the destroyers are not really that useful anywhere else. All they do is sort of... Uh, they, when the Royal Navy is fighting your, your Kriegsmarine, maybe they can waste their turns attacking your destroyers and let your cruisers occasionally do more damage. So they're just going to sit here so that they can take over that port eventually. Meanwhile, uh, if I start attacking Tron time, I am going to draw in the, the Navy. Maybe I should have sent these dudes over that way to take over that place. And I'll just have these guys start attacking from this side until uh, I feel more confident. Or if I can kind of encircle this place and attack all at once. I don't know. This, this is this is going to be the hardest part of the of the campaign, taking over Trondheim and uh, Namzos. Fo show, folks. Because now these guys are like kind of hanging out, and I know that the. I know the RA, the uh, Royal Navy is in here somewhere. Don't necessarily want to draw them out. They may already be down here. Visibility may be low because of the rain or something. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um... Got to take this damn airfield. There we go. You just can't get anywhere in this rain. Now we know that this could be. Ooh, this could be really bad. Maybe I just want to sit there and hope I don't get attacked and try to cross the river and attack. These cities, basically the only reason they need to fall is so that they can't harass me after I've, you know, tried to retake Oslo or something. Current fuel, 11. What, how the hell did, how the hell did that thing not already go down. Oh well. These guys have refueled so they can How did you not refuel? I guess these guys didn't refuel. Well, they've got him trapped, so on the next turn, they can, uh, next time it's not raining, they can attack and then fly over here to refuel. You guys are basically going to keep him from retreating. I'm hoping that he crashes. That was kind of the point of this whole thing. Be 
be really good to have some artillery to attack with there. I can't even afford good artillery. One, two, three. Did I mean to buy another fighter? Four, five. Not really. That was a mistake. Oh, well. That's not even following the same pattern that I did off screen, so it's not really helping or hurting me. It's just kind of silly. All right. Um. It's end the turn. I'm hoping that you can like refuel now that you're next to an airfield, and I guess because this was not held by Germany, they couldn't refuel. I don't know. This could go really ugly. Okay, it actually went pretty well for me. And it's still raining. There's more hurricanes. It's great to be a Miami hurricane. You are going to run out of fuel. Ha 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 You, it's a lot less likely. Why am I expected to lose three here? They've only got an entrenchment of three. Rugged defense. Oh, fuck. I've got to take that place over, though. It's just going to be a pain in my ass if I don't. That went better than the random numbers, or the predictions said it would, although I couldn't understand why the predictions were as gloomy as they were. Trying to find some artillery that I thought was up there. Boom. Oh, boo. How could they kill seven and suppress one? They've only got three swords worth of tough. <laughs> Figured there'd be some artillery hanging around here. But anyway, folks, uh, for all my complaining and lack of uh, fun chatter, um, the Wehrmacht is still marching on. I'm not going to be able to attack. Oh, damn it, why can't I get the, the jump on them? I've got two stars with experience. Considering these guys could never have been in a battle before, these are like elite German paratroopers attacking a bunch of artillery that's just kind of hanging out. Nobody between it and uh, the Germans. And This is where things could get ugly. Tanks are usually re rugged defense. They only have an entrenchment level of two. Oh, come on. Okay. I don't. There's no saving them. They are definitely doomed. Fuck. Entrenchment level of two, and they wipe out the entire tank unit, basically. Just. Wow. Well, like I said, man, I played this thing off screen so I could uh, make up for this kind of craziness uh, or, you know, not have to worry about it. Sh 
shoot. And we're at the half an hour point now anyway. Oh, that was ugly. Let's just get through this video so I don't have to wait until another video to watch those guys die. Because they will definitely be killed. I'm going to have to replace them with a brand new unit. Maybe I should just get on with that now. No, I've only got 48 prestige. So I need to capture some cities before I can do anything like that. Jeez. I mean, part of my problem has been the rain. I haven't been able to use the Luftwaffe to soften anyone up. And these guys are going to try to crawl up the corner and take this city so that they can't harass me from there. But, uh... You know what, actually? I'm better off doing it by boat. Do something I'll never do when I'm not when I'm actually going to be using it later, which is get non elite replacements. You guys can kind of make your way in this general direction. And although I found the dickiest possible way to get rid of some uh, enemy air, it still just doesn't feel that good. Oh, I ran into the Norwegian Air Force. That's probably the last uh, Norwegian Air Unit. Well, it looks like... Uh... Shit. Yeah, they're all crammed in here. Shit. The only good part about this is that there can only be but so many boats down here. And this might mean that uh, I can position the submarines in here. Ah, yes, here we go. Submarines have come across uh, capital ships without destroyer escort. So now they can like, pounce in and kill as many as possible before the destroyers show up and start dropping the depth charges. almost makes up for the fact that I'm totally going to lose a uh, tank unit. Nothing makes up for that, but that comes close. Alright. So let's end the turn, lose that tank unit, and move on with our lives. Oh, man. Okay, submarine evades. That's the special thing about submarines. They have a random chance of escaping from any combat where they're attacked. They can dive when attacked by airplanes or evade when attacked by destroyers, but it's a random kind of thing. And if they fail, they almost always don't get the first attack. They're going to get depth charges dropped on them here. Yeah, so that kind of sucks. That subunit is probably... Oh, no, it escaped means that if you're really lucky, they can just, like, hang out and absorb so many enemy turns, because, like, a bunch of units will try to kill them, and if they evade all the time, just totally waste all their time. Now, I'll be very happy if that y tank unit managed to escape alive, but I'm really not counting on that happening. Maybe they'll get a suppression of two without destroying either of them. That will mean they'll retreat to safety. Come on, folks. Come on. The master race needs this one. Okay, so we're not getting that one then. Kind of knew that was going to happen. However, now it is overcast. We will be able to use our air in the future. We see that the fire unit here is gone. It crashed. It does not count as a kill for me, apparently, but um, it's gone. It is gone. Aurora. 
Alright. So I'm going to need to buy a new tank, but I can't afford to do that yet. Let's move you. Let's move you. Now can I buy that new tank? 56? No, still don't have enough. I can buy a shitty tank, but I don't want a shitty tank. I want a good tank. Am I going to be able to take anything else on this turn? Probably. Be able to take this city on this turn. I've been intending to end the video for a little while now, but... Now can I afford a good tank? Can't afford one of these yet, and that's what I want. Might just have to go without for a little while, folks. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. When we come back, Norway turn whatever, because I've decided that I can live with the... F yeah, let me just show you why I can live with this. The reason I can live with it, folks, is I've got an off-screen play where I just did everything perfect, and I've got troops circled around the city of Namzos waiting to end it, but I just wanted to take as much of Norway over as I could before running so short on time that I couldn't get my major victory. And as you can see, I took turns for units that couldn't do anything. You can, uh, any unit that's... Um, at full strength, you can use the Elite Replacements button to overstrength them. If it's got two stars, you can go up to 12. One star, go up to 11. Five stars, up to 15, etc. So I've, I've overstrengthed some units. And uh, as you can see, these are this is the battleship and the heavy cruiser that start the battle out down here. By this point, they've circled around. By the time they got there, the Navy battle was over because the Luftwaffe had come in. This is the reason why I'm willing to take losses. But I'm still going to show you how you get through it when you're not able to cheat like a mother. And we'll see more of that in the next video. So thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.